COVID numbers are increasing day by day. Today in this particular video, we are going to see what are the 10 reasons which is making this COVID numbers to get increased day by day. According to me, I have listed down 10 different things which is the leading cause for increasing numbers of COVID-19. So today in this particular video, we will see what are those 10 mistakes and how we can overcome those 10 mistakes so that we can safeguard ourselves from COVID-19. So welcome to Smartbox. This is your KG. The very common mistake is the mask. So first thing we have to select the right mask and we have to wear it properly. So if you want to safeguard our house, we shut the doors and the windows properly so that any unnecessary thing, any unnecessary person cannot enter into our house. Similarly, with respect to our body, COVID is entering through the nose or through the mouth. So the ideal option, what most people suggest is the N95 mask. But provided if you are a COVID uh, warrior or you are a first line worker dealing directly with COVID patient, N95 mask is most, most appropriate one. In case if you are a common public and you are not going to interact with these kind of people, then the option is very simple. Go and get a surgical mask as well as a cloth mask. So most of the people, if you see, they either uh, the nose is not properly covered or if they are going to talk to someone or if they are going to cough, they are completely removing the mask and doing certain activities which will be a reason for increasing the COVID numbers. So here I am going to show you how to wear a surgical mask or how to have a proper fit of the surgical mask. So earlier what we are doing, just we were wearing the mask simply, right? So now what they are suggesting us to do, make a twist, make a twist so that you will get a proper firm towards your mouth and nose. And there will be always a silver nailing according to your nose position that silver nailing so that your fit becomes little bit perfect. The second thing, you go and get a surgical mask. So over this particular surgical mask, we are a cloth mask also. So that there is not much gap on both the sides. So even if the droplets want to enter, they will not be able to enter. So in this way, you can protect yourself. Okay, so surgical mask and a cloth mask. So always you should cover your nose as well as the mouth. The second common mistake what we do is the sanitizing or the soap. So, so as much amount of sanitizer what you can take, take that first or if you are going to use a soap properly wash for 20 seconds. So earlier itself WHO had given this guidelines that even if you are going to do hand hygiene properly do it for 20 seconds. So today we will see that also as much sanitizer which is required for your hand take as much quantity as possible. Second thing, okay, properly spread completely front and back. Okay. Second thing with respect to each finger. Okay. And in the middle of each finger and this your nails. So this way try to spend 20 seconds for hands with soap and if you are going to use sanitizer take adequate amount of sanitizer and wash your hands or sanitize your hands. So this way we can overcome the second mistake. Okay. So the third mistake is the social distancing. So most of the people are at home only. So most of the time we try to spend time with the people nearby. So if friends are coming, relatives are coming or neighbors are coming, try to maintain social distance. No one is voluntarily going to spread the virus. They themselves are not aware whether they are having the virus or not. They may be symptomatic, they may be asymptomatic. So it is the ideal choice for you as well as the other person to maintain a social distancing of about six feet. So even if it is a third person of your known or your known person, try to have interaction by wearing the mask and also maintain a social distancing of about six feet. So third mistake. And the fourth mistake is the WhatsApp University, which is very, very, very famous. So there are a lot of rumors or conspiracy theory, which is going all around in all the WhatsApp group. Okay. You are receiving a particular message. Just check whether it is true or false. Second thing, just think if I'm going to forward this message to a person, Will it be useful to him? Okay. The third thing, if I'm going to forward this message to that particular person, is, is it going to cause some amount of joy or happiness to that particular person? 
So if you're not sure whether the message is true or false, if you're not sure it is not going to benefit or be useful to that other person, if it is not going to cause any kind of happiness to the other person, never ever spread or forward a message. Okay. So fourth thing is the self-isolation. Most of the people, when they get the symptoms, they need to isolate themselves. They can go for a RT-PCR test and once they get the results, so probably if it is negative, they can interact with the people as usual. So most common mistake what people do is like they have the symptom, they go and give for RT-PCR test. Before getting the results, they are interacting with most of the people as usual. So anyway, let the results come, then probably we can take the next measure. It is not at all good. So if you are having any kind of system, symptoms isolate yourself whether you are getting the rtpcr result positive or negative till then maintain self-isolation from the people okay the fifth thing is the sixth thing is the immune system okay so most of the messages which is going all around is to improve your immunity so food of course it is the mandatory thing the second common thing which is need to increase your immunity is to have a proper sleep so most of the people are having time they are watching movies things like that so make yourself sure that you are getting a proper sleep so sixth thing is the vaccinated people are also becoming a problem nowadays so just like that someone has going to abroad and they want to share the things to their neighbors or the friends similarly vaccinated people are going out and interacting with the uh, people about the experience of getting vaccinated so that is one way it is good but try to remember i told in the last videos also first dose second dose and after two weeks of your second dose your body will create adequate amount of antibody so it will take two weeks time from the your second dose okay so one way you got vaccinated immune power is good so there may be a chances you may act as a carrier for the virus so that you spread the virus to the people who have been not vaccinated or who are not that much immune so if you are vaccinated, it is well and good. Stay safe at home. Maintain again social distancing, masking and uh, sanitizing. Never venture outside without any proper mandatory reason. Okay. The other thing is this, like self-medication. This is also spreading in so fast. Like I have got COVID positive. I have taken these medicines only. You don't have to go to the hospital. Stay at your home. Take this medicine. Never ever for not even for COVID, even for a fever, do not take any antibiotics or any medicine without doctor prescription. Self-medication may end up dangerous in situations, especially with respect to COVID, steroids and all, which is being needed at the later point of time only. If you are getting steroid at the initial stage, the treatment may get worse and there may be chances for you to experience worse situation. So do not take medicine without doctor prescription parameter is to have a proper ventilation so if you're staying at home try to get a proper ventilation at your home so the air should come in and the air should go out so even if there is some kind of problem which is within the home along with the air these droplets will be moved away away from your home and to have a proper sunlight exposure so vitamin d is one common thing which is needed to for our body so if you are able to get sunlight exposure try to get sunlight exposure the final thing is still i could see people who are venturing out without any reason yesterday i saw a few people's whatsapp status so nine o'clock all the shops will be closed and complete lockdown is going to be implemented in tamil nadu so people without having a mask just putting status in whatsapp the last ride the final ride something like that showing they are traveling the bike without the mask and venturing outside i don't know what to say about that it is not the thing that should be appreciated or should be kept as a status keep a venture out if you are not having any medical issues or any kind of emergencies i hope these are the 10 mistakes which has been commonly seen and if we can overcome all this mistake as mentioned in this particular video we can reduce the covid numbers and we can come back to the normal lifestyle so i hope this video was useful in case if you find this useful give a like and share it to the people whom you feel it will be useful and subscribe to smartbox thank you